but today I'm going to be adding a little bit of a twist. Uh, so uh, this is a vlog that is going to come up before the workout video, okay? So I will take you along to the beach of Kolibari and I will show you how beautiful the beach of Kolibari is, okay? So if you are planning your summer vacation, you want to come to Greece and you have Kolibari area in mind, then this video is actually for you. Sorry if my hand is not stable because we're driving and um, as you can see, I'm on the road. So, <laughs> all right. So come along with me as we go to the beach of Polibari for a walk. Maybe if we warm up before we go into the gym. Sometimes I love doing that. Sometimes I just use the treadmill at the gym. But sometimes I prefer to just go for a walk around the beach before I start walking out. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go. Welcome to Kolibari, a community in the island of Crete, Greece. Okay, come along with me as I take you on this journey. All right, so I'm on my way to the gym and I just want to open this vlog today and carry you along and just explain some things to you. Okay, so sometimes when I go to the gym, I love using the treadmill. Some other times I just prefer to go for a short walk warm myself up before I start my workout. As I always say in all my workout video, make sure to warm up before you start your workout, okay? All right, so today I won't be using the treadmill. I will be going for a beach walk, a quick beach walk. And I was like, why don't I just carry you people along with me? Okay, so we are at Kolibari and we're walking now. Let me apologize because my hands is not that stable because I'm walking very fast trying to warm myself up. Okay, trying to warm the body up before I start exercising. So my hand is shaking a whole lot. Okay, so just follow along and uh, enjoy the beauty of nature. And if you're someone that you're looking to visit Greece and you have the island of Crete in your mind, um, this is how the island of Crete looks. Some part because the island of Crete is the biggest Greek island. Okay, so uh, they have south, west, north, and it just depends on what part of Crete you're going to. Well, whichever part you're going to, you are going to love it. You're going to enjoy it. They have very beautiful weather and lots of sun. So for those of you that loves to just tan, you can tan all day. It is hot in um, around august air, um, time of the year it is super super hot in greece from uh, july august okay so don't worry if you're coming from a cold country and you just want to just free yourself and enjoy some warm weather you're going to get that in greece okay so we're just walking by the roadside here and then we will take one of the turns down to the beach and walk all the way back to the gym because my gym is kind of close to the beach and there are so many hotels around this area so it just depends on what you have in mind do you want hotels that are closer to the beach so you can easily assess the beach they also have like um supermarket mini supermarket like this one here this is a mini supermarket and there are hotel close by so if you just want to pick up one or two things and you don't want to eat your hotel food you want to get something you can just dash out from your hotel and go across the road or it might be on the same line with your hotel and just walk into the mini supermarket and pick up drinks or whatever you want and they have like airbnb apartments you know uh something similar to this one by the side and um you can just get a house where the place is close to the beach and you have the house all to yourself. Okay, so the choice is yours depending on how much you're traveling with. Okay, all right. So there's always something for everyone. Like I always say, from super rich to uh, medium to everybody, there's always something for you. And even those celebrities and those people that need like private uh places they want to be in private areas they don't want to be disturbed they don't want to be seen by so many people there are so many houses uh hotels that are hidden that you can easily um check in with your family if you don't want to be disturbed you don't want to be seen that's for like celebrities and people that people want to take photo of them interview them and do certain stuff but they're just out for fun you know all right so here the, uh, i saw cactus by the roadside you can see so many fruits on the cactus tree 
as you know cactus is a uh, exotic fruit you know like for special people and things like that it, that's how it used to be in the old days not anymore but yeah okay so here is a bigger supermarket and you have hotels also around here and restaurants so if you're lodged in areas like this you can easily access the supermarket you can access um restaurants if you don't want to eat from your hotel okay so we're taking the road next to the supermarket we're going down to the beach and we will make a round and then go back to the gym that's what we're doing okay so like i was saying before if you're lodged in areas like this you can easily access the beach okay so across the road there are hotels and even on this road that i'm walking on right now there are hotels down uh, by my right by my left you see hotels also so you can see how close it is to the beach so you just have to make a choice and decide which one you want okay so here i am i'm just uh, jumping and stretching my legs uh, yeah i'm doing a bit of too, <laughs> i'm doing too much right here right <laughs> okay so that that's me that's me uh my energy is always high all right <laughs> anyways okay so here i'm just moving along and just showing you the beautiful areas and one thing you'll notice in this area there are lots of farm the people of Crete, uh they love farming a lot a whole lot of them are farmers so yes you can see vast of lands that uh, are just there you like people be thinking why where, where do they have all these lands just sitting there all right so you can see hotels at the end of that this land it's that's actually a farm there were people on the farm i didn't want to zoom in too much and next door here i saw bananas and i decided oh let me show you guys they have bananas in the island of crete okay though this one the leaves are all broken because it's closer to the beach so the heavy wind and all that but the banana looks good right <laughs> okay so like i was saying a lot of greeks a lot of the um greeks are farmers they love mostly in the islands you know you see a whole lot of farmers so some people prefer to just leave their lands and farm the plantings like tomato cucumber squash name it all these vegetables and uh fruits and things like that so hence you see vast lands just laying down there and another thing a lot of the older greek um, men and women they love to do with the ancient way that you, you know people used to uh keep like lands and things like that for their children 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 to inherit so they don't always build houses in like all the houses build this build that and all that or sell all all the stuff they have they love to keep land so their children can inherit and their children children can inherit so they just farm on their land you see old people uh you know planting like vegetables and just little things to uh pass the time until when they're no more that kids can take over and you know lands are something that appreciates over the years and it's just a good thing to live for your children so that's one thing i love about the greeks those of them that lives in the islands they always make sure that they don't sell off all their lands they keep uh, lands and properties like that for their children okay all right so we're approaching the beach right now okay so you will see how beautiful the beach of kolibari is now the beach of kolibari has like the yellow sands and uh a bit of stones you know uh some parts that you go to you will see more of stones some parts that you go to you see more of the yellow sands okay and because of the pandemic this whole area it's kind of empty trust me before the pandemic everywhere used to be filled up you will see tourists everywhere families people just having fun swimming relaxing uh having their sun tan people reading books people uh playing like small mu like music in uh the beach bars and people are just enjoying themselves but uh the pandemic not many people are traveling this year so we have just few people okay so right here i tried to zoom in you see few persons at the beach jet skis uh the, the water spot is not as it used to be before you know but yeah a few people are just here okay and yeah i saw one of my clients she <laughs> i didn't even recognize her she recognized me even before i crossed over okay all right so here is the beach you can just come here with your family and just chill have a picnic just relax and just enjoy yourself even if you're not uh someone that loves to swim maybe you're afraid of water 
and things like that you could just sit on the other side or just sit on the sand while you just watch other people that are swimming you have your drink have a conversation with your partner your friends your family whoever you're traveling with you know so this is the beach of Kolibari some part of Kolibari okay because uh Kolibari is a big town okay so yes so this is like some part of Kolibari that I I decided to show you okay so if I ever go to the other side of Kolibari like the port of if I get to the port of Kolibari I will also show you that area because that's another lovely area that has lots of restaurants by the uh, port and stuff like that okay so here I am walking enjoying the fresh air enjoying the beauty of nature let me know in the comment section would you love to visit greece and if you are let me know what island do you have in mind to visit because they have so many islands okay they have Corfu, they have santorini they have mykonos uh they have crete um athens uh thessaloniki so so many cyprus uh, just name it where do you want to visit if you're going to greece okay they have so so many beautiful islands milos that some of some of which i can't even remember right now but trust me all the greek islands are very beautiful and they always have uh things for you to see you know if you want to go for sightseeing there are so so many places to go there are many historical areas that you can visit that's one of the beauty of um greece you know okay that being said here it's a cafe next to the beach you know like i said earlier if you're someone that you want to be so so close to the beach you can always find a hotel or um airbnb apartment that you can rent so you can see this one here is just next to the beach so as you're waking up you're waking up with the beautiful sight of the beach and the waves and the sound of the sea and all that here is another hotel that is next to the beach i couldn't go in because i <laughs> was in a hurry to just warm up and go to the gym and exercise so i couldn't go in to show you people but that that this hotel here is a very big one and it's next to the beach you you know you either swim in the pool if you want or you go down to the beach to just uh you know swim uh in the sea and enjoy yourself so there's many things to do many fun stuff to do all right so i've made my round if you've noticed i am on my way going back to the gym right here so this is another land that you just see sitting here around this area they have so many lands if you want to purchase well 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 they cost a whole lot of millions it's millions upon millions of euros that you pay for land like this okay <laughs> because it is in a good spot okay so somewhere around here someone is busy watering their plants so i decided i was just going to show you what is going on here i hope you enjoyed this okay over here As the Greeks water their farm, when they plant stuff, they have it set up um, for, you know, to water the plant. Because Greece is one country that has very beautiful weather, but they don't get a whole lot of rain during the year. Well, I don't know if probably because I am um, an African, so we get a lot of rain, so I cannot compare the weather Europe and uh, Africa, but Greece doesn't get a lot of rain but maybe in the European countries maybe they get more rain than others though I don't know just leave me a comment below let me know what country you're from and let me know if you people get a whole lot of rain uh, from January to December but yeah so that's how they water their plants I hope you saw that okay so like I said before on this vlog I just wanted to carry you guys along my beach walk my gym is close by uh, so this is what I do sometimes not all the time I'm sorry if the lighting is not perfect because I'm walking you can see trees by the sides and the Sun is by my right right now because the Sun is setting okay it's evening time in Greece um, that being said uh, sometimes I love to just walk you know uh, instead of using the treadmill all the time so some days I use the treadmill some days I prefer to just do it naturally so okay now I'm back on the road so I turn, this is the road, and I am in Kolibari. You can see the bus passing, all of that. I'm gonna go back that way to my gym. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'm done making my rounds. 
now i'm walking back to the gym okay i'm walking back to where my gym is situated okay so by my left here you see arion hotel is a small hotel it's kind of hidden with all the plants and all of that so if you're someone that you need private moments like hotels like this are some of the hotels that you can uh lodge in and people won't even find you okay and you can see some other hotels in there bigger ones closer to the beach so you have options all right so that building there you see with the cream color that's where my gym is at my gym is a smaller gym i prefer smaller gym with this pandemic uh thing going on i prefer to go to smaller gym that you have lesser people across from the road here is just a bar that you can go to to get fresh uh orange juice or any other fruit juice that you want uh if you've been out walking you've been in the beach all day and stuff like that i hope you enjoyed this vlog see you next time i remain your girl mel okay thank you